Hi, welcome back to the channel with Lovely Life New Yorker. I mean, a deal at the moment. As you know, I've just had my eye socks rated on for the cataracts in the right eye and waiting for the left eye, which will be at the end of the month. Then I'll be coming back to Mallorca. So I just had a deal, but walked around Dover folks a lot of times. So I thought, let's just jump on the train, uh, on the bus rather, a couple of quid later, and we are in deal. It's a lovely little place, lovely restaurants and a lovely beach. And it's, it's nice and sunny today, as you can see. So what a perfect day to just come for a little walk after all this rain we've had the last few weeks. It's only about seven, eight miles from Dover, this deal. They've got a sandwich just up the road. Lovely little coastal places. Lovely little towns, I'm saying. Plenty of ice cream parlours, cafes, bars and things. It's just completely different to Dover. Nice little town of Saint with lots of little hidden surprises everywhere and quite a nice little Saturday market as well just up the road. So those who don't know much about me as it were, I've got glaucoma which is a uh, destroying of the um, uh, the eyes as it were, you know, slowly making you go blind if it's not treated. Luckily I've had it treated for the last 10 years or so since I've had it and um, I had little um, um, laser surgery on it to put little holes in to try and drain the fluid away from the eyes which would increase help the pressure and anyway, I went back there on in November and then noticed I had these cataracts so with these cataracts what they were worried about at that time is if they read up and covered in the little laser holes could cause a problem because of the fluid causing the, um, causing the pressure to get worse. My well, pressure is normally about 60, 40, 16, 18, that sort of thing. As you see in, Do, um, in Deal here, you've got loads of these little streets that are really nice. They seem to link it all, all together, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so I went there, they said to me in November, I've got to start the cataracts, so there's nothing to be worried about, but we'll keep you um, in mind type of thing, we'll keep an eye on them. So anyway, so when I went back in January for my next visit, they said the cataracts had gone back really quickly and they were quite nervous about them covering up these fluid holes, should I say, from the laser. So they had me straight in as in an emergency to have the cataracts removed because they said as saying if they covered up the holes it could cost um, problems with my eyesight and I haven't got any peripheral vision as it is so it is quite a problem tunnel vision so I had, I had one done within a week week and a half I think it was from that time and I've just got one more the second the left eye is going to be done in about two weeks time so that is the problem. Obviously, I've got to keep an eye on my on my eyesight, haven't I? Those little alleys around here with shops everywhere. Really, it's really nice. This is called Middle Street here. So basically, that's what's happened. So I've, I've stayed here to have the cataracts removed, and um, then they can keep an eye on me for a little bit. And they said when the second cataract's been removed then I can basically go home, see if I need glasses at that point, because having new lenses, I mean, I might need new glasses for driving. And then as soon as I've had that done, so I saying that I can go home and get back onto my um, YouTube and all the rest of it all on the island, which I'm really looking forward to. It's been quite a, um, an awful few years actually to be honest hopefully this may be the turn as soon as I get back for those people who like to carry on films have a song called Charles Holtry 
that lived in Deal. And this is his house here, the White House. And he's got a, a little plaque, as all famous people did, saying he lived there. Charles Hall Tree, 1914, 1988, when he died, he lived there. And just up here, that was his local pub just up there. You can see it's just up there. This is where he spent most of his end of his life, as it were, just around here. As I said, it's, it's quite nice around here, all these little lanes and things that heads towards the sea up there. Got loads of little things up here, fish and ship shop, little, little shops, all, all just different things just around here. And then down here, this takes you to the market. I just fancy doing a little film today to let you know what was happening in my life and things, you know, just what's been going on in the life of Andrew. Just in case you haven't seen any films about when I come out of the hospital, I haven't had the catch rags done, that sort of thing. I love the little tents they sit in, all pretty uniform, but the market's ever so small to what it used to be years ago when it took over the whole of this car park. Everything's got smaller over the years, hasn't it? It's also, it's nice to see so many shops still open. There's hardly any shops over here that are closed. And there's so many people out and about as well, which is nice for people to use the town, isn't it? So I was saying, Dill's a very small place, but it's, there's everything you need here and more. And so many people come out and actually use the town. It's really nice to see it grow and hasn't shrunk like a lot of other towns have over the past few years but today hasn't really been a a walk around deal mind it's been more about a catch up with me and what i've been going through and all the rest of it all and i'd like to thank everyone for um keeping by me as it were it's been quite a hard few months but we're making headway a bit now anyway i know if you enjoyed the film just give a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget Facebook Loving Love Mallorca and I'll be back to Mallorca within the next four weeks I hope so it's just a little catch up take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon bye for now